Hello, today I'm going to show you how you can change your background to be transparent and how you can save your image with a transparent background. I drew two circles that look identical, however there is a little difference. The one on the left has a red stroke and a white fill and the one on the right has a red stroke and no fill. It can get more complicated to identify which circle is which if you have lots of them. And this is when the transparent background comes in handy. To show the transparency grid, go to View and select Show Transparency Grid or press the Ctrl, Shift and D keys on your keyboard. To hide it, go to View and select Hide Transparency Grid or press the Ctrl Shift D again. Now, if you would like to save your image with a transparent background, go to File and select Save for Web. Just remember, when you save your image for web, you are saving it as a pixel image. This is only good for using it in web pages as a final format or perhaps to be edited with Photoshop. However, if you intended your image to be used in Illustrator, be printed or used for logos, then you should save it as a graphic format like AI, EPS or PDF. Let's press Ctrl-0 to see the whole page and now save it as a PNG file. Make sure to check the transparency box and click Save. Remember the folder where your file will be stored and click save again and this is your saved image. Now let's make a new document and let's say we want to import our PNG image into Illustrator. Go to file, select place, find your image and click place. Click on this corner and here is your PNG image. If I select to show the transparency grid, everything looks like it did before. However, as soon as I hit image trace, Illustrator automatically fills all the transparent areas with white. To get rid of it, select the expand button from the top. Then go to the direct selection tool. Click away from the artboard to deselect and now click on the background and press the delete key on your keyboard. And do the same with the other areas that you want to be transparent. Just remember, when you are placing the raster image like PNG or JPEG in Illustrator and using image trace, Illustrator is trying to convert your raster image back to vector format. While it looks good, there is some quality that is lost. Like for example, the circles are not 100% mathematically round, whereas the original file saved as a vector format would be. I hope this was helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. Bye bye.